As early as 1975, England Stranglers developed a reputation as being one of the most influential yet controversial bands to come out of the UK music scene. Their history is laced with arrests, riots, and fire bombings. Yet they've survived and remain one of the only bands out of the 77 punk explosion that haven't gone soft. And they recently played a sellout show at Toronto's concert hall. The Stranglers are known for their outspoken personal political views. Here's what they have to say about Canada's constitutional crisis. Adverts for, the, for Ontario in, um, in America that we've seen have got a, a, a Union Jack on the top that says, you know, Ontario. I couldn't understand why it's got Union Jack. Well, it's just part of our flag, that's all. Isn't it about yeah. time he's kind of... <laughs> No. Designed a new flag. <laughs> well, those are the politicians. That we yeah, and about the time you got rid of yeah. the queen on your currency. I mean, yeah. but she doesn't wear a crown on your notes. She's naked. Yeah, she's naked without her crown. I hardly recognise her. Oh no, I don't recognise her at all. There. There you go. She's well, put she on weight. She's put on weight. Lost a little bit of hair there as well. There she is. Ah, there she is. Yeah. She's no crown. crown. Naked. That's um, that's quite an old picture. Mm. As you can see, uh, she's not a queen here. It's um, mm. way, it's like about 30 years old at least. She hasn't got a tiara on. No. Do you guys find yourselves becoming political in your music at times? No, never. Nah. Never nah. talk about anything except girls, cars, sunshine, Creating surfing. Creating and procreating. Well, something like who wants the world or a nuclear device. No, that's, that's really, that's esoteric. That's, that's, really that's really about girls. The world. <laughs> yeah. I asked Hugh Cornwell why they turned towards religion. Well, it's just something we got involved in. I mean, we started, we started, we started moving around the world and sort of experiencing that. And then once you've been out around the world, the next place to look is up, up in the sky. And when you look up in the sky, you end up looking at the human being, because you know, in the sky is just a reflection of what we are. But that's that, that's getting into intangibles, you see. Why did you uh, do a video for a Duchess at a church? Because um, we thought they'd show it on British TV. But, but we were wrong again. We were wrong again. <laughs> the, uh, the BBC considered themselves to be a um, higher authority on ecclesiastical matters than the church. Because, the, you know, the reverend who lends us his church, you know, it's like a, an ongoing church. You know, they, they have gigs there regularly, um, these uh, congregational gigs. And uh, the reverend was really into it. He was getting drunk with us. He was drinking mm, his little sherry or something. It was great. And then uh, the BBC saw it and they said, no, no, no. Cliff Richards on TV this week. I'm sure that. And uh, Musto Yama, only 10th down in the history of karate. Um, and he is Kyokushinkai, the founder of Kyokushinkai Karate, which is the seeking of the way of the truth. And it's a full contact karate. You don't wear any uh, gloves, headgear, foot gear, but it's all full contact. And it's all power. So, um, you know, from day one, you get beaten the shit out of, basically. Why would you want to involve yourself in that? Um, it's kind of a good way of, of keeping one limb, you know, yourself together. To keeping learn your reactions. It? Yeah, keeping your reactions together. And you learn a lot of things about yourself. I understood that this Oyama's idea of a good time was stepping into a ring with a bull, ripping out one of its horns, and then killing it with one punch. That's right, yeah. Well, a few bulls, in fact, yeah. Why not kill it with the horn that you've pulled out? That's what I couldn't figure out. It's cheating. <laughs>